Welcome back. Here are tonight's six players. Three join us from overseas, and three are from right here at home. Hi, everyone. I'm Nafisa DeFlorius. One of the six players you just saw will walk away from Poker Dome $25,000 richer tonight. But more importantly, they will have won a seat at our $1 million qualifier. Let's reintroduce you to the table. In seat one, our chip leader, Gary Ang from North Carolina, is an E-4 specialist in the United States Army. Moving over to seat two, coming all the way from England, Mark Deacon. Mark's nickname is Squeaky, but, you know, I'll be honest, his voice doesn't really sound all that high to me. Next to Mark, we have Rodney Stibing from Louisiana. Rodney is superstitious about one thing, and that is those pocket jacks. In fourth position, John Davis from the UK. John's biggest poker influence, his very own son. And in seat five, we have Ron Leguero from Oregon. Ron's screen name is Crazy Rays because he believes that every pot should be raised. And rounding out our table in seat six is Sweden's Frederick Nilsson. If he could change one thing about poker, and this is an honest answer, it would be that he sometimes misreads the other players at the table. Now, five of these players, unfortunately, will go home empty-handed, but one will win, and I am looking forward to the end of the night when I present that winner with a check for $25,000. Guys? Thank you, Nafisa. We're looking forward to that as well. We're inside the Poker Dome. Started with six players. We still have six blinds. Continue early on in 1,000 and 1,000, Michael. So far, nobody's really taking control of the table, and nobody's running away from the field. This is the early going. Can I go four? The, four thousand. Four thousand. the exploring process, and Laguerra will make a little feeler with his pair of sevens. Strong starting hand. Ron, see if he gets any action here. A fold. Squeaky's out. I agree, his voice doesn't sound that squeaky. Maybe he's just squeaky clean. Ron Lagaro bets his sevens, and he will have a winner. Seven's definitely lucky for him on that. Looks calm on the outside, but his heartbeat is going up. And speaking of up, blinds have been raised. One in 2,000 now. A okay. couple kings in the pocket hands here, Davis and Steinbein. A call. A call. Four players will see the flop. Deacon taking a shot here. Lex is five deuce suited. Nine, six, and a queen. Stibing catches his six. Check. But he will check. 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 Lagaro checks his inside straight draw. And Deacon could take a shot here. I mean, everybody's shown weakness. Yes, he only has a 5 high, but, but nobody seems very interested in this pot. To the turn, an 8 of spades. Leguero now in front. A pair of 8s. And Deacon has picked up that baby flush draw. 4,000. Leguero comes out firing, puts 4,000 in. Deacon right back at you, hoping to catch a spade on the river. Oh, seven would help him as well. So a couple of outs for the real deal, Deacon. Heads up to the river. A queen. And that locks it up for Leguero, should he stay in and both imagine check. he will. Deacon can only win by bluffing here. And it looks like he's going to. He can't just wait at this out. pot, though. And he does. Nice. Full. So he pushes out the better hand. Deacon, the first guy tonight, really didn't make a move. A stone-cold bluff, but a queen coming up. The girl wasn't sure that his age would hold up. And still early going in our leader, our chip leader for most of the night, Gary Ang. The youngest player at our table at just 21 years old. They call him Anger Banger. That's because he's a big-time volleyball player. And we mentioned earlier in the show that Gary is in the United States Army. Now you will find out exactly why.
I'm 21 years old right now and I joined when I was 19. I wanted to be able to go over there and help our guys overseas. I also wanted to make my parents proud. Hopefully uh, I'll be going overseas in about a year or so. Uh, right now I'm still in the middle of my training. Uh, I wanted to be a medic because I wanted to help people. That's why, you know, you want to be able to help as many people as you can and this is definitely a way to make a significant change in the world. Serving and protecting us here, nothing but love for Gary Ang, and he lets us know he is officially on leave of absence to get here to the Polka Dome. So, welcome, Gary.